It's September 15th. It's 473 BC, and the story of Esther continues as she risks her life and approaches the king unannounced in order to intercede for her people. Her plan succeeds. Not only are Jews rescued from Haman's evil edict, but Jews throughout the empire are defended, respected, and honored. Mordecai becomes prime minister over the entire empire, second in authority only to King Xerxes himself. Mordecai is now able to help the Jewish people throughout the empire in unprecedented ways. Satan's attempt to wipe out the Jews is not only thwarted, it backfires miserably. The book of Esther is, on the surface, the story of a young woman's courage. God's hand is seen mightily through her faith. It is also a demonstration of God's sovereignty, how He promotes ordinary people for His purposes. It's a powerful reminder that single decisions of courage and faith can have eternal consequences, not just for us and for those around us, but for many others that we'll never even know. But it's also the story of larger struggle on a grander scale, the insidious plot to annihilate the Jewish population. Those who know history are well aware that Adolf Hitler was by no means the first world leader to attempt to exterminate the Jewish people. History is full of attacks against the Jews. Many people overlook the importance of Esther's story, but it's key to understand because it's reflective of Satan's greater attempts to thwart God's plans for world redemption. Had Haman succeeded, there may have been no Mary, John the Baptist, or Jesus. Satan hates the Jewish people because of their calling as God's instruments to provide redemption for all mankind. He continues to harass and oppress the Jewish people, to stir up envy and hatred of them, even to this day. As followers of Jesus, we are not only called to stand against this demonic-influenced hatred, but to earnestly and consistently pray for God's mission and design for the Jewish people to come to full fruition, as described in Romans chapter 11 and Isaiah 62. Here's today's application. Do you pray for your Jewish friends and acquaintances? Read Romans 11 and Isaiah 62. Ask the Lord to give you His heart toward His covenant people. Pray for their protection and for their blessing. Now here's today's prayer.